Hello and welcome to the Pure and Clean Weekly Review. This is a segment produced by Pure and Clean to summarize all Star Citizen news that relates to business in the verse. If you like it or have feedback, drop us a note in the comment section of our YouTube channel. And with that, here is what you need to know for the week of May 29th, 2017. There was a failed attempt on Imperator Costigan's life while he was speaking at the Banking Federation Summit in New York City in the Seoul system. One Marine and one of the assailants were shot dead in the confrontation, and several others are in critical condition. Imperator Costigan is the most vocal proponent for the Human Xi'an Trade Initiative, or HUXA as it is better known. Huxa opponents claim that it would be a danger to the Empire's independence if the Huxa initiative were to pass. In response to the upcoming June 6 Huxa vote, protesters have taken to the streets. Anti-Huxa advocates have called for a boycott of the popular Xi'an-owned CTR stations, as well as boycott to all Xi'an corporations operating inside the United Empire of Earth. Extremists in the coalition have also called for a boycott of companies with Xi'an interests, such as the Musashi Industrial and Starflight Concern, better known as MISC. In this week's Around the Verse, producer Jake Ross confirmed the beacon mechanic, which allows citizens to mark a location anywhere on the map. This mechanic will allow players to conduct business by giving the coordinates of their beacon to another citizen, so that they may quantum travel to that location. We foresee that the creative usage of beacons will be vital to any business in the verse. Tony Zurovec, the server engineering team, and DevOps have completed the shopping service, which will allow in-game shops to be implemented and hooked up into the shopping tech. We can expect an early version of this service to ship with Star Citizen 3.0. Ships are being migrated to Item 2.0. Once Item 2.0 is completely implemented, ships will be able to have knowledge of their outside environments without requiring excessive use of CPU resources. In practical terms, this will allow things like atmosphere impact the usage of fuel, in effect limiting which types of ships can fly through different areas without refueling. This will not only impact the commodity market for fuel, but virtually everything else as item 2.0 will heavily impact the supply and demand for resources across all markets. In Star Citizen Citizens of the Stars, community streamer Clifford aka Miku talks talked about the Mixer platform, a competitor to Twitch.tv. The platform, which is popular among Xbox gamers, was previously known as Beam until it got acquired by Microsoft and rebranded as Mixer. It offers a slightly more interactive user experience interface than Twitch, better video quality, and lower network latency. If you are considering getting started with video streaming, you should check out Mixer to see what they have to offer, and you can do so at Mixer.com. You can find further reading on this news and more by subscribing to Pure and Clean channels in the notes section below. Or, if you'd like to join us in Star Citizen, you can check us out on our website at pureandclean.com. Until next time, this has been the Pure and Clean Weekly Review. Thanks for subscribing from the team at Pure and Clean.